Welcome to video 14 on the SCARM model railway editor. At several places we see these little text boxes and well, let's have a look how we can create text on a layout. On this layout we see these little text boxes like these, they depict the track numbers and the question is how to create those. Let's suppose that we want to give these turnouts their DCC address numbers added to the layout. And well, I want to add some text. And that can be done via the edit menu over here. And there is a place text uh, entry there. The shortcut is Ctrl T. So let's use that shortcut that's quicker. Uh, oh, what happens? Ctrl T, yeah. Uh, the cursor has now changed to a, yeah, a text cursor and I can click where I want my text to start. Over here, there is a text box. Here at the top, uh, suddenly now uh, popped up a uh, entry for the uh, font that you would like to use and the, it picks the complete list of what is available on your PC. So let's do uh, Arial Black, that is a bit thicker font. Uh, the size we can also change over here, uh, but I don't know what the size is going to look like. So let me just put in a number, 12. Uh, well, it could be a little bigger, so let's make it uh, 48. Oh, that is maybe a bit too big. Well, no, no not really. Uh, I can control left click and then move it. Uh, because when I zoom out, this is not even that big. That's, uh, that's quite nice to uh, look at for the DCC addresses. And let's zoom in again. And well, suppose you would like a different color for this text. That is possible by clicking it, selecting it and then right click to go to the properties menu and there we can change the color of the text if you would like it doesn't show immediately uh, it only shows after we clicked ok let's have a look how we can create such a, a box or a circle let's do a circle a circle around it to make a circle we have to go here in the library to the figures and find a circle over here then start a circle and well this is big enough uh, the color of the inner of the circle is white well that's that's okay with me and um, can I move it around? Yeah, by selecting it and then control left click and then move it to the proper location. Can I get a thicker circle? Well, uh, no. And can I get another color for the uh, outside of this circle? Well, I haven't found a way to do that. Also in the properties, uh, yeah, the only color that I can change is the inside of the circle, I think. Uh, yeah, well, this is quite ugly. Uh, but the, the outer ring, that is black. Uh, let me control Z to get rid of that color. The outer ring is black and there's no way to change that. If you would like that, then what you can do is create a, uh, an image of the file export it as an image and then go to a uh, program like Photoshop or Krita, which is a free program and do your text edits uh, in Krita. Well, this was actually it. Uh, now that we have this, uh, I want to uh, yeah, use it multiple times. Uh, uh, this uh, turnout has address 13. So what we are going to do now is select both the circle and the text and then Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Now I have two of them. You don't see that because they 100% overlap, but now hit Ctrl left click and there we have it, another one. Now I want to change this text, so double click the text and change that to 13 or whatever number this turnout has. 
this looks good. Uh, we can do this for the entire layout and have uh, numbers for every turn out. Next video, I don't know the subject yet. Well, well, well maybe we can do this export of a, uh, an image to use it in a Photoshop or Krita app. Let's do that in the next video.